What's going on guys and welcome to the Grand Variety Channel. My name is Miles and in today's video we're going to be doing a review of Vagabond. This big volume one. Let's get this started. So the story of Vagabond takes place within the Sengoku era of Japan and is based around the life of Miyamoto Musashi. And it's really cool because actually our main character, Takuzo, is Miyamoto Musashi. Miyamoto Musashi was a real historical figure in Japanese history and is known as the best swordsman in all of Japan. And he was basically known for basically annihilating every single opponent there was. It's very cool. He carried, he carried a uh, long sword and a short sword for his weapon of choice and he killed his first man at the age of 13. So what's cool about the this big edition of Vagabond is that it covers the first three volumes in the series and this covers around roughly 31 chapters so you're getting a lot of story here a lot of character progression and you're seeing a lot of fights and when you do see the fights the fights are phenomenal I'll get into the artwork into a minute but with each this big edition of Vagabond you get a slight cover of each character and if I had this big edition volume 2 of Vagabond I can actually line this up to one another and each character will align making a collage so that I found was very cool. So when it comes to the life of Miyamoto Masashi, we're not exactly sure if through the manga's depictions these events have occurred or not throughout his life because most of his early life was shrouded in mystery so we can never be sure to what actually happened throughout his life and what he actually did. Although this does give a good insight into Miyamoto Masashi's life and this is basically a manga that is based around the novel by Eiji Shikawa Musashi. So, I mean, in the end, we're getting a story synopsis of who Miyamoto Musashi is, and in case anybody doesn't like reading and likes manga, this is a good place to start off to get to know who Miyamoto Musashi was. However, if any of you do like reading and you want to get to know more about who Miyamoto Musashi was and what he actually did throughout his life, I recommend you two books. Firstly, I recommend Musashi by Eiji Yoshikawa. Musashi basically focuses around Miyamoto Musashi's life and is also the novel which this manga is based off of. However, if you can't find that or if the price is too high, I recommend you a substitute. The Lone Samurai, The Life of Miyamoto Musashi. Now, obviously, this cover is different. You'll find a different cover on Amazon. That's because this uh, book had a sleeveless cover, and I obviously lost it. But basically, with those two books, Musashi and The Lone Samurai, you're basically getting the same type of story. Um, not even a story. You're basically just getting a biography of what uh, Musashi did throughout his life. So definitely pick this up if you cannot find Musashi. The next book I recommend is The Book of Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi himself. This was the first and last book he uh, wrote. Um, this book focuses around uh, his tips on swordsmanship, his strategies, what he used, the psycho he actually used psychology in order to win his battles, which is very cool, and just basically tips on how to overcome your opponents. Um, so The Book of Five Rings is a very good book. I love it. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Um, it just brings you a whole militaristic insight onto uh, who Miyamoto, Miyamoto Musashi was, and I just think uh, that this is very cool. So if you are interested in those books, go ahead and pick them up. Even if some of the parts are fictionalized in some way, I still really enjoyed the first few volumes of Vagabond. I personally really enjoyed the moment where we see the monk and how he uh, confronts Takuzo and tries to shape him into a better person. I mean, that moment there was very philosophical in a sense, and that's why I really enjoyed it. Um, and it just shaped on who Takuzo is and how he became Miyamoto Mizashi. So that was awesome. And the story is so engaging and compelling that you're literally not going to want to take your uh, hands down when reading this manga. And, and the art, artwork is just so good that you'll be in awe. I mean, compared to most manga, you'll probably uh, take a few breaks in between because of how boring the story might be or something along those lines. But with this manga, you can actually sit through this in one go just on how engaging it is. Now when it comes to the artwork for Vagabond, the artwork just looks phenomenal. You see some really high quality artwork here. The artist Takahiko Inoue is one of my favorite artists of all time and he is also the author of Slam Dunk and if you are familiar with that series, you just know that he puts a lot of energy into his work and a lot of detail. So if you are familiar with that series, just check out Slam Dunk and then look at Vagabond now. The style has completely changed and you just see a tremendous improvement. Right here we have a picture of Takuan and Takuzo 
Takuan is the monk, and just by looking at the artwork, you can really tell that the artist put a lot of attention to detail and detailing the characters' faces. They actually look realistic and actually look Japanese. Right here, we have a picture of Takuzo tied up into a tree, and I just want you to focus on that tree for a minute because that tree just looks fantastic. That tree looks so realistic. I don't know if Takahigo Inoue uh, drew the tree. It may have been his assistants that did it because in Japan you actually get assistants to help you out work on the project. But I mean, whoever made that tree deserves a clap. Uh, next we have Takazo in a uh, uh, fight scene right here fighting a soldier and he's using a wooden stick. Uh, but I mean, the the fight scenes that you will see in the Vizbig edition of uh, Vagabond just looks so fluid. Uh, these fight scenes flow so well and they just look so, so good. Uh, overall, this just looks fantastic and I really do love this artwork. Anyways guys, that about does it for my review of Vagabond, the Viz Big Edition, Volume 1. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to get my hands on the other volumes so that way I can stay up to date to the story and possibly do more reviews for you guys in the future. But I really do recommend this series to you guys. This is something that you definitely have to check out for yourselves. Anyways guys, that about does it for my review. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you want to stay up to date to my future content, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.